G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be ranking the 2022 AFL Clash Jumpers. Now before we get into this video, if you want some bonus content, head over to Patreon. I have a full behind the scenes vlog of the day I had the goal kicking comp with the lads. With the goal kicking comp, that'll be out next Thursday at 5 p.m. I'm putting my videos out a little bit later at the moment, so if you want to tune into the goal kicking competition with myself, Prime Train, Shep Mates, and the 9 to 5 Fitness Boys, it'll be out at 5 p.m. next Thursday. Also, Ep4 of Goes All Right is out. It would mean the world to me if you could head over to Spotify and give the show a rating and give the show a follow. All your support really does go a long, long way. Now, I haven't done a ranking video for a very long time. I'm excited though. I think a couple of years ago, I would have put the Melbourne one right up the top with the rankings. But right now, it's a couple of years old. It's meant to resemble the 80s kit. Uh, with that lighter blue, which I loved. And I reckon the last time I would have done a Clash Jumper tier maker it would have been up near the top. Sliding a little bit for mine. We need we need something else. I, I like the wider kits as well. So I'm going to put the D's one in B. Now, I love most of the other ones. I guess an easy one to put down the bottom is probably the pies, considering it's just the colors reversed. I still think that wider jumper gives it a cool look and a pretty slick look, and the KFC logo is pretty awesome as well. I'm still probably gonna put it in C, uh, just because it's a little bit unoriginal. The Gold Coast Clash kit, I think probably goes in D. That's a little bit plain Jane for mine. Just lacking a little bit of flavor for mine, the Gold Coast kit. Um, I think they've had that one or something similar for a long, long time. It's just their logo on a blue jumper, and the blue isn't even that good. So no offense, Gold Coast fans, but that kit's not up my alley. Frio, I feel like they've had this Clash jumper for a long, long time as well. I know they've put the strip down the side, which gives it a bit of a different look, but for mine, that's been a Clash jumper for a long, long time. A little bit unoriginal, a little bit boring. Um, so yeah, Freo's down in the second last category. I've been a bit brutal today, aren't I? I'm not taking any prisoners. Port Adelaide as well. I feel like we've seen this Guernsey for a long, long time. I don't mind grey kits, but I just feel like this has been this has been done. Like we've had we've had this clash Guernsey for a fair while. I'm probably gonna put it in C. I'm probably gonna put Freo's up in B because I like the white. Yeah, the white part of it, but. Yeah, for me, Port, we've seen it. We, we want something fresh. We want something new. Mix it up a little bit more. That's my only uh, my only gripe. Now, this is going to be a really weird one for me to do, but Geelong's Clash kit, I guess, which they wore when they played North Melbourne a couple of weeks ago, which is just their kit inside out. Like, the, the colours, not inside out. The colours are just swapped around, similar to Collingwood's which makes their kit go from wider to bluer. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> Even though it's unoriginal, and we've seen this kit before, I just thought it looked so sick against North Melbourne, so I'm gonna put it in A. Uh, maybe I'm delusional, maybe I've lost the plot, but I thought Geelong's kit looked really good. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? All these Guernseys, I reckon, are sick. This is it gonna be tough to split them? Carlton, I'm gonna put, jeez. I reckon that's a great jumper. I'm gonna put it in the top tier. I reckon how slick it looks with the all white. It's got the logo. Jeez, they love that logo. They can't go anywhere without that monogram logo, can the Blues? But despite that, I think, um, yeah, it's one of the better kits there is. Just very clean, very slick look. I, I like it a lot and I like that when Carlton play in this jumper and you watch it on TV, you're not getting it confused with anyone. Like it's so white that on TV from that wide angle, it's very aesthetically pleasing. Even though it's a complete contrast, GWS's charcoal kit is one of the best kits in AFL history, I would say. We've never really seen a team go all black. And not only is it all black, but it's got the, the orange giant um, sort of stencil on the front of the jumper as well. So it's just one of the most amazing kits we've seen in the AFL and I absolutely love it. Could be a controversial one, this one. North Melbourne released this at the start of the year and I reckon it's one of the great 
Clash Guernseys. It embodies everything I love about a Clash Guernsey. It's predominantly white. Like it's not really similar to the normal jumper. Like I don't really like Clash jumpers that are just the normal jumper, just a little bit different. I suppose like the D's. <laughs> It, it has the kangaroo from the logo, so I think incorporating the logo or incorporating like a mascot can be really cool in an alternate kit. And um, yeah, if it's done properly, and I reckon they've absolutely nailed it. So fair play to the ruse. That's one of the best clash kits we've seen this year. I reckon every jumper tier maker I have ever done, the Brisbane Lions are right up the top. That's one of the all-time great Guernseys. Is that Brisbane Bears inspired? Inspired by the Brisbane Bears, uh, it's got the old style lion at the front it's just everything we want and more and i'm a sucker for a, a jumper with the v and it's a it's a fat v and it's just sick that is just a, an amazing jumper the brisbane lions always get it right i'd almost put the saints up a tier but i feel like i'm gonna get crowded if i keep doing that so i'm gonna put them in a yeah, going with the predominantly red i think is awesome incorporating the logo a little bit i think is awesome so yeah, the Saints are in A and they've absolutely smashed it. I'm a big fan of that kit. I'm a big fan of a V kit and I'm a big fan of mixing it up completely, but I don't think the Hawks one has landed that well. I think I'd put it in C. Now we know the Hawks don't always nail <laughs> their Clash Guernseys, but for mine, this is just a little bit off the pace. I'm not sure what I would do to improve this, but yeah, just a little bit boring. It's like the V and then the strip down the sides. I guess it's a little bit similar to Freo's and I guess it looks a little bit like the lines as well. Now, could you get any more unimaginative Essendon? I mean, it's just the same kit except red. <laughs> They've still got the sash. Um, I don't hate it though. I'm gonna put that in B for mine. Uh, it's pretty stock standard. And I guess the Tigers do something a little bit a little bit more similar. But yeah, for me, the Bombers kit, I think it's cool. I think it's I think it is cool, but I think they could do something better. That's just my belief. The Tigers I would put in B as well. I really do like how bright their yellow is. Um, but once again, it's not that original. It's not bad, but it's not great. So I think that's probably why it's in the middle tier. Um, I've warmed to the nib logo. Early days when there was just this green patch on their jumper, I was like, that looks disgraceful. But it doesn't look that bad, does it? Um, it's very sleek, it's very clean. I think it's probably one of the cleaner Guernseys there are out there, but um, for mine, it's just, it's lacking something. West Coast, I feel like we've sort of seen this kit for a long, long time. I'm gonna put it in C. Um, yeah, it's just a similar to my gripe with the D's, Freo, and a couple of the others. Like we've just seen this sort of alternate kit for a long, long time. It's It hasn't been reimagined for a little bit. Um, and it's a great kit and it was a great kit when it first came out, probably one of my favorites. But yeah, just it, I need something a little bit more spicy from the West Coast Eagles and that's just not doing it for me. Adelaide Crows, I'm going to put in the A category. Once again, it's just a, a mix up of their colors. It's predominantly red. Um, it incorporates yeah, a lot of their, their normal kit as well. And I'm a big fan, I absolutely love it. I think, yeah, it looks really, really good when they play. Like I, I saw them wear it against the Bulldogs a couple of weeks ago in Ballarat. It looks unbelievable. I wouldn't mind all these Clash kits having like a full uniform. Like sometimes teams will have the Clash kit and then wear white shorts. Like the Crows, and I don't know if they do this or not, but they should have like red shorts and like red socks. Like it should, if you're in the clash kit, you should be in this full, full alternate uniform. Um, but yeah, big fan of the Adelaide Crows jumper. The Swans Heritage alternate, I think I'll put in the top category. It's one of the all time great kits and it's Nike and it's slick. Like it's sort of, it's as clean as the Carlton one in terms of the design, very simple just elite it's just awesome i'm a big fan of a v an amazing kit and the swans rarely do things wrong so yeah we're not surprised here and the doggies we've seen this kit for a long long time it is a good jumper though i do love it i'm a big fan of a white kit it incorporates their old colors it incorporates a lot of their normal colors as well getting a little bit long in the tooth but probably the better ones out of the ones that are getting a little bit long. So I'm gonna put the dogs in a category. 
I'm quite skewed in the positives with alternate kits. I absolutely love alternate kits. They're some of the best things about footy. Um, and I think it's it's amazing when your team has a good sort of three-part kit. Like I like a team that has a clash and a way <laughs> and a home. Um, yeah, these alternate kits are the clashes and I'm a big fan of most of them. So that's why I've got a lot in the uh, the first and second column. My favorite, if I had to pick one favorite, I would probably say the North Melbourne one or the Brisbane. That is my list of the 2022 Clash Guernseys in the AFL. Once again, I appreciate everyone tuning in. I have a goal kicking challenge next Thursday at 5 p.m. So tune in for that one. Once again, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in and I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon.